It's the mother freaking Vikings at the Seahawks. It's Florio's team versus Florio's 1B team because I feel like you love the Seahawks almost as much as you love the Vikings. Um, Vikings going to Seattle. Seattle favored by three points over under 48 and a half. Vikings had a week off. They're going to be feeling fresh going up to the Pacific Northwest. Will you pick your team to win or lose? Ooh, he's scratching his chin. He's not sure. He's a little undecided. He's got a close score, and he's thinking about taking the Vikings in this one. I'm not an idiot. The Seahawks are, and you said this earlier today when we did the power rankings on PFT Live. There is a cluster of five teams that are cut above everyone else, and it's the 49ers, the Ravens, the Patriots, the Saints, and the Seahawks. And in the next cut are the Packers and the Vikings, and then it goes down from there, and the Chiefs. Uh, this is a test of your formula, right? Seahawks should win this game. And, and the Vikings looked like crap the first, quarter, the first half of the game against Denver the last time we saw them. And, yes, they beat the Cowboys in primetime. And, hey, maybe they'll, maybe they'll win another primetime game, but I don't see it happening until they play the Packers at home in four weeks or three and a half weeks in primetime. I think their, their Chargers game is going to get flexed out of primetime because of the Chargers, not because of the Vikings. But uh, I, I, Seahawks, even though – Mike Zimmer's defense, yeah. very good at controlling and containing Russell Wilson. They got a pleasant surprise in Rashad Penny last week, but I think the Seahawks' defense will be able to stop Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison, and I don't think Kirk Cousins will be able to have the kind of night that we've seen him have recently. Although, you know, right now, Kirk Cousins has the highest passer rating among starters, and Russell Wilson is just behind him. And, hey, prove me wrong, right? If I'm wrong, I'll admit it. But... This is an opportunity for the Vikings to crash that party at the top of the league. I don't think they're ready to do it. I think the Seahawks win. If you remember last year's Monday night game, and I know a lot's different, yeah. last year's Monday night game in Seattle between these two teams was a disaster for the Vikings. They they could do nothing offensively. They could have played 12 quarters, and the Vikings wouldn't have been able to get anything going. Now, this year they may be able to do a little bit more, but I think the Seahawks are better offensively. Their defense has gotten better on the fly. Jadavian Clowney is going to be a key injury watch right, right. in this one. He didn't play last week. He was so dominant that Monday night against the 49ers. But, you know, 18-2 and two at home in primetime under Pete Carroll, how can you pick anyone versus the Seahawks when that game is being played at night. Yeah, uh, agreed. I I um I tend to lean lean Seahawks here too. I just I guess what I basically just I don't feel like and Jadeveon Clowney will be a real thing and I know I saw some quotes from Pete Carroll earlier in the week that he thought, you know, things were in the, in the right direction, which was encouraging. But I just have a hard time believing that the run game bootleg formula is going to work against the Seattle defense. I guess that's where I question it a little bit. I do think the Seattle defense has turned the corner the last few weeks as to what you said. You know, they're, they're statistically still 23rd in football, but I don't think that's really fair to what we've seen over the last few weeks from their defense in general. I think they got it rolling. They figured out the formula in which they want to play there. Also, you know, you're right. The Vikings have given Russell Wilson and that offense some issues uh, over the years, and the Vikings' defense is good, but it's not great. Um, and I think the other thing that I look at is that offensive line can be overpowering for the Seattle Seahawks. We'll see how good C.J. Procise is this week. I mean, I was excited to watch him make some plays last week. And then the other thing that really scares me is the Vikings just leave Xavier Rhodes and Trey Waynes one-on-one -on -one too much. And – this is a different Seahawks team this year. They got some guys who can take it deep and beat guys one-on-one, -on -one, like legitimately, and scare the shit out of you. And that's where Russell Wilson's great. He, you know, along with Deshaun Watson, is one of the great deep ball throwers in the game right now. So I'm going to pick a close one here. And as I'm actually saying it, I think maybe I should have picked the Seahawks to win by a few more points. But uh, this will not be my best bet either way. I'm going Seahawks 24-23. Um uh, I, I, I kind of vision a late score, a late field goal to win the football game, something like that. But either way, I think the Seahawks do win this. And I got 24-20, if I didn't mention it earlier, Seahawks over the Vikings. And uh, you tried to bait me into taking the Vikings. But I think, what do, we do, do we agree on every game except 49ers-Ravens? No, no, we did not. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.